Hey guys, in this brief tutorial I will be showing you how the base app farming works on Dextrabot. It is 100% automated and for the first 7 days after you start farming it is going to be free. At least this module that I will be showing you today. So, so if you don't like it then you won't have to use it but at least if you want to see how the automation works uh, it's going to be, give you an idea. So let's start with the account, adding an account. If you don't already have an account you can create an API volunteer. Uh, this API wallet is non-custodial, so you can use any of your wallets that you are already farming based app with, and then you can create an API wallet on that, on those wallets. And then the, the, the nice part of it is it doesn't have the withdrawal permission, so it is safer in most cases. Or you can use a generated wallet. This is where the system generates a wallet for you and gives you the private key. I think most of you guys will be using the API wallet, but it's entirely up to the user. So once you pick the wallet here, then you are going to select the coin. Uh, I think most of you guys will be picking a coin that is not fluctuating so hard. I personally uh, try farming with coins that are not extremely volatile. Uh, it's, they are less risky. It's up to you though. So uh, there is no like real set on stone best case, but that's my preference. I prefer to uh, farm on coins that are not volatile. Then uh, the margin amount, is. this is probably the only part that might confuse you. So right now my spot balance is $2,297, right? So what the system will do is it's going to divide this. Once I start, uh, click on start, it's going to divide this amount into halves. With half of it, it's going to buy Bitcoin. And the other half, it will be kept in USDC. That's, it is for, so, it's the reason, the reason for this is it, can, it will create different buy and sell limit orders according to the spread you enter so if the uh, if i have two thousand dollars technically my margin shouldn't be more than a thousand dollars because this is the what the system does at the beginning is it divides it into half so that it can create different uh, buy and sell orders with the usdc balance the other half of the balance bit and the other half is going to be spent for buying bitcoin so Long story short, if I have $2,300, I should be entering something like 500, 300, 400, something like that. You can go up to $900 or $1,000, but the thing is the moment this margin is more than 50% of your spot equity, then the system cannot work, at least with the econ economy. That, that's, the, that's the thing. If you are going to watch it, then you can enter $900, and once your balance goes below 2000 or 1800 then you can change it right so it's up to you this is also one of the optional parts you can just it's really up to you like whatever whatever you enter you can find your own sweet spot but for the demonstration purposes i want the system to work fast and so we see how it works and then i also want you to understand how a small spread and a bigger spread matters in terms of farming all right so let's start the system and right now it is working as you see what where i can see what's going on is actually on my uh, based account so right now what happened is about ubtc with the half of the uh, amount and then it created limit orders you see a sell limit order and a buy limit order that's actually what's let's go to the balances here you will see the lines you see now it bought here and it created a sell order here and then it is going to keep doing the same thing it will buy and sell buy and sell buy and sell it is doing the transactions very frequently right now because my spread is so small you see because that's because, that's because i entered 0.01 percent if you enter 0.1 percent the spreads are going to be a little bit bigger if you enter one percent they're going to be available so it re it's really up to you so what you can you can see the uh you can see the trade story here but i think it's actually a better idea to see what's going on on uh dextrabot itself so let's copy our address and let's paste it here and then in the trade story i will be seeing how much fees i'm paying you see how much uh, value trade value i am committing with each buy and sell uh, and obviously how much points i am making which you can track on uh, based app website itself right so in the last transaction i made a 
trade value of $600. It was my setting, if you remember it. And then for that trade, I lost this much money. So see, this one was more, uh, for instance, profitable, but the trade was smaller. So if you actually use a bigger spread, there is a chance that you actually can make some tiny profits. But most of the time you are going to be losing, uh, you are going to be burning money because that's how the point farming works. So, but in general, you are going to be burning money. One good thing is, of course, this is not a whole $1.31 loss. As I explained in my previous videos, this part of the total fee is actually reclaimable through the affiliates because Basedep is giving 76% of the affiliates back. Yeah, that, that's usually it's pretty stable here. That's how the system works. This is going to be a different uh, module that I will be explaining. I don't want to burn it, any of your brains or my brain as well in this very same video. So I'm going to be explaining the farmer mode. And then actually, we are going to make a proper grid bot as well. That's not going to be a farming bot. It is still going to farm points. It's going to farm less points. It's not going to be as effective in terms of points. But its primary goal is going to be not losing money or making some money. So it's going to be more of a real grid bot. Uh, this is actually a real grid bot. Too. It's just it has a different purpose. And then let me show you how the uh, airdrop calculator works. So this is a very prime, primitive version of what we are going to be doing, of our, what we are going to launch in the next couple of weeks. So it collects all the experience that has been distributed to it right now. Uh, it updates itself every five minutes. And then it estimates the airdrop value according to the fully dilated value, possible fully dilated value. So if, if the token launches at uh, 50 million, then this is how much the experience, for instance, how much the tanky XP will worth at 90% uh, allocation. If they allocate 90% of the token, this is how much. So, of course, 90% might be too much. Might, probably it's going to be more like 30%, maybe 10%, maybe 50%. We don't know. This is optimistic, but also it's not going to be a $50 million uh, token for sure. Even Upheaval is going for hundreds million. Let's let's check it here. Let's check upheaval. I think I think it's almost at hundred million. Yeah, eighty three million. So if like my assumption is that uh, if this is at eighty three million, I will be disappointed if we can't reach somewhere in between these two numbers. So I mean I will be very disappointed if it's at hundred million. I I think it's very conservative. I think it's going to be a lot higher than that. I mean my idea but i'm just based on how uh, based on the performance of upheaval itself anyway so but in the next version the more advanced version we are going to be adding the ticker so you are going to be seeing if you are making like how your performance is compared to the other farmers are farmers are they going up are they going down little uh, in, in real time how much the others farmers are farming it's going to be interesting we had done it for blur back in the day we are going to be doing it for based up as well yeah, that's pretty much all. So if you have any questions, find me in Telegram or Discord. It's pretty active, especially on the topic of farming right now. So yeah, enjoy it, guys. Bye.